Hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 times Daryl Sheet scored big on Storage Wars. If you're a fan of Storage Wars, make sure to leave a like on the video. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we release our daily videos. Now with all that being said, let's get right to the video. Number 1. Frank Gutierrez Artwork Collection Artwork is not really a crazy item. It is probably one of the most normal things that Bitter can find in these abandoned lockers. Over the course of the show's 12 season history, there have been many different units that feature some kind of artwork or painting, but none of them ever came close to what Daryl Sheets found in Season 3. He found one of the biggest collections of artwork by any artist ever. It almost seemed as if this was Frank Kitsiera's personal locker he used to store his work. There were several pieces of art of all shapes and sizes that ended up being appraised for close to $300,000, making it the biggest find in the show's existence. How crazy is it that an artist would store that much valuable artwork and just leave it? Maybe it was owned by a fan, or maybe someone was going to sell it, but lost the unit before having a chance. Number 2. Vintage Architectural Tools Walker I stole from Mr. Human. Peacock ornaments with real peacock feathers in them. And there's a bunch of them. What looked like a box of dental tools actually turned out to be very old tools used by architects in the 1800s. This specific toolbox was probably dated close to the 1930s and was not really in perfect condition, but it was still very good. The appraiser would eventually reveal the price of the item to be $1,000, making Daryl's 575 storage unit purchase turn into a major profit of close to $1,600 on the day. They do not call him a gambler because he plays it safe now, do they? Ornaments with real peacock feathers in them. And there's a bunch of them. There's probably about $75 worth of stuff right there. And just Number three, antique medical bleeder. I'm going to Van Eyes. The only thing that's a little strange is I don't have old Brando with me today. He's sitting home nursing a little sore knee. Back before hospitals had state-of-the-art electronic equipment and antibiotics, they had to be creative with ways to cure people. So doctors came up with the invention called a medical bleeder. It was used to drain the blood from a person that was afflicted from various illness or diseases. The tool will drain the blood from the body to help control the overall balance of it inside your system. It is suspected to help lower blood pressure because it reduces blood volume. The device is the size of a wallet, but was still one of the craziest items you would never consider being on the show. Okay, maybe I miss Brandon a little. He's pretty good at picking things. Number four, the comic book store. One of the reasons Daryl Sheets has been given the nickname The Gambler is because of his consistent ability to hit jackpots on storage units every once in a while. He bids on many of them, good or bad, because he sees something that could be worth a ton. He is willing to gamble big time just to get that one big payday. So it's not very surprising that he ended up wearing a storage unit full of an entire inventory of a comic book store. There was everything from vintage comic books to valuable action figures still in mint condition in the original box. As we go along, here's some other unusual items bought by the rest of the cast. Number 5. Vintage Baby Doll Any toys made in the 1930s that are still in good shape today can come across as creepy because of the material used to make them and the style. So when Jared and Brandy want a locker, they run into a bin with a vintage baby doll that makes Brandy freak out. It was in a very old trunk with tons of clothes, making it even creepy that someone would store this thing in a storage unit for all these years. But after looking over it, they realized this had to be old and it had to be brought to someone who knew more about them. Number 6. World War II Minesweeper I win. I only lose a couple bucks in gas. But if I buy a lot, I win more because it's easy trip from there to the shop and money quick. As hot as it gets in Southern California, the temperature was boiling when the cast headed down to Lancaster for a day of bidding during the ninth season of Storage Wars. Since he is a hustler for packed lockers that he can use to fill his stores, Ivy took down Dave in a very small bidding war to take home a locker of nonsense items. After spending $1,500 on a locker that he should have gotten for half that, he discovered an old army container with a mysterious item. When he got to the shop, it turned out to be an old World War II minesweeper that was used to find mines hidden in the ground. At $400, it was the featured item in a locker that brought in close to $4,400 in value. Number 7. Snake Stuff Uh oh. Look at here what I done found. That's gonna make the money right there. Oh my god! Oh. In one of the largest storage unit auctions ever in the state of California, the crew headed to Chatsworth, California to take part in a gigantic 100 volt auction. This auction was so stacked that everyone walked away with something, including Ivy, who purchased a vault he considered to have some valuable treasures for his store. As he was searching through his newly acquired vault, he opened a box that has snake bones. Enclosed inside is a plastic display case. 
He continued through the box to find even more snake items like a tool he used to hold them, as well as protective clothing and various other snake related things. Sometimes I buy for the store. Oh my god. <laughs> and sometimes I buy for me. It's pretty. Right. You gonna take it or you gonna put it in? Number 8. Chicken eyeglasses. 500 bucks? That's great! I had a couple of clucks, and I made a few bucks. Barry is always coming across something that's either unique or strange. Yes, those words do mean the same thing, but when it comes to Barry, each of those words can be used to define different things. When he bought a cheap storage locker for 350 and almost finished looking through it without any luck, he came across a box full of these weird little glasses. As it turns out, these glasses were once used in the 1940s and 50s for chickens. That's right, chicken eyeglasses. The owner would put them on the chicken to prevent each of them from pecking their eyes out while also being stylish. Yes, stylish. It was a unique way of accessorizing your chickens and Barry hit the mother load, making $500 on the lot. Still functional to the right collector. $500 for all three pair. Number 9, stripper pole. Well, oh, Chris, this way. This will bring easily 20 bucks. Look, brand new, like they have never even had one. The idea of a stripper pole is not crazy at all, but when it shows up inside a storage unit, it's no longer attractive. It's actually quite sad. Who would put something like this in a locker and forget about it? Why would anyone do that? The sole purpose of something like this is to use it, not store it. At least we got to witness Renee attempt to break his femur with a stripper move he definitely should not have tried to. Because I think the shoes... Yeah, I gotcha. I know where you're going with that one. Are you going to be swinging from it next? This is for you, for the house. No, I think it's for you. And finally, number 10. Wooden bust with glass eyes. Posing as an agent looking for precious artifacts. He's German. This guy's thoroughly going to confuse everybody there. He's there right now. This was one of those items we had no clue what to call it besides what it was. A wooden head with these creepy glass eyes. It was hidden inside a locker that was run by Barry who arrived late to begin with and was just trying to catch up. He bought an apparently useless locker for 1525 However, after searching through the locker, Barry had spotted something that he just had to own. It was a small box that was hidden in the rear of the unit and if you know anything about Barry, he loves to buy vintage boxes especially when they're closed. And as it turns out, there was a window into the brain of the back of the skull that had an Obi-Wan Kenobi looking figure staring out of it. Let's do it. Alright, here we go, the big moment. There you go, you got a winner. Wow. Look at that. That's nice. Alright, well let me tell you what it is. And that's all for now. Stay tuned for more exciting content when we return. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.